You already know what it is. We about to microwave some eggs. Let's see, let's start the vid. Okay, so first, let me get a spoon. Hold up. I'd rather get the small spoon. Okay, two eggs. One. Two. Beautiful. I just had pretty good cuts too. Eggs up. Okay, scramble them up. I like scramble with mine up for a minute. Just to make sure I'm not lazy. Actually, I got, I could do one better. Hold up. Forgot I bought a little mini wisp. This should be coming on nice and good now. Nice and scrambled up. Okay. That's pretty good. And I just want you to know, you my son. And uh, you have a child's own palate on some real shit. Uh, I guess on a doubt, I guess as a comeback to myself, I still don't like fish, even though I really would love to. But it's, um, it's whatever. Okay. Let's see if it's good enough. Right, one second now. Okay. I like to pepper my shit. That's good. Yeah. A little bit of salt. Just a little pinch of salt. And I'll give it another spin. Readjust for pe readjust for pepper and salt a little more. I would say just a little more, and just a little more pepper. That's fine. Okay, nice and well mixed. Okay, now we go on. Um, what's it called? Put it in the microwave. Now, sadly, my other microwave broke. The one that's like overhead. But this one will do. Okay. Put it here. And let's put it for two minutes. The two minutes is good enough time. Meanwhile, I'm toasting some, some bread. And I think I'm going to heat up some sausage. But let me, let me check on what else I'm cooking, man. I reheated this little soup that I got from Panera Bread, like in BJ's. Seems pretty good. Um, let me use this. It's still a little cold. That shit doesn't taste that bad. I thought it would taste worse. Wow, look at that shit one minute in. That shit, what the fuck? It should become like an omelet. That was pretty cool. Still got a minute. I don't know if I should go and, um, what's it called? Like, stir it. I guess for this purposes, I won't. I will tell you one thing, it is making my, um, it's fogging up the inside of the micro a lot. But it does look like it's coming out pretty well. Actually, I'm actually pretty surprised at the results right now. It smells nice, I can smell the eggs from here. The eggs are getting progressively bigger. Look how much in volume it's increased, Lord. Good. 
Oh, man. So, we have eight seconds left. Um, yeah, this reminds me of, like, like, when I was younger, I used to watch the videos, like, is it a good idea to microwave this? If y'all ever watched that shit, the egg plate is type hot. Eggs look cooked, though. Yeah, honestly, don't even look that bad. Yeah, they don't look, they don't look, um, what's it called? Uh, what's the term for that? Um... Runny? No, no, rubbery. I haven't tasted them yet, though. Give it. A, let's give them a good flip, though. See if they cook on the bottom. See, the bottom is pretty cooked. Wow, look at that. It's actually get a better light, move to a better spot. The plate is hot as hell. So give me a second. Okay. Look at that, wow. Honestly, I'm actually really surprised on the way this eggs came out. Okay, let's go get a scoop. Give me a second, this is hard to do with one hand, I'll tell you that. Okay, now let's go in so close up. It's the taste test right here, the egg. Actually, it's a little rubbery. I feel like the top part, you know, that part that did in the beginning. I think that part is a little too overcooked. But the bottom is actually really nice. Overall, it's not even that bad. No, I'm going to eat it with some. My bagel. A little burnt bag. Honestly, the center is a little, it's really good actually. I'm actually really, I'm really surprised at that. Um, so, get some more bagel. Okay. I should have reheated um some uh, some meat with it, but I'll just eat egg and cheese today. Just let y'all know, I did wash my hands before this. Don't get your hopes um twisted. Oh, uh, we get the egg again. Just the right, just the right amount of egg to put on the bagel. It's actually crazy because it actually looks pretty bagel shaped if I didn't eat it. So here, right there, see that? So we got to think like a, if you like fish, you would eat it with salmon or something. But sadly, I don't really. I'm not really kind of for checking on this one more time. Right, it's perfect. It's well cooked now. You don't have to worry about that one. I don't know, the instruction says not to boil the the soup, so I'm not gonna boil it anymore. And um, yeah, well, egg and cheese, bro. Go eat that now. Honestly, I wish I should have probably put. On hindsight, I should have put the cheese in maybe at the one minute mark, or maybe like in the minute thirty second mark, just to have that melt too. But. Um, just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna eat it like this. So, yo, go. Hopefully, this is a good angle of what you're saying. Here it is. Mm. Tastes just like an egg and cheese. I'm gonna eat all the bacon. Also, maybe a little bit of butter. I should put a little bit of butter. 
But the cheese is really making up for it. That shit's starting to melt. If, see, look at that. It's already binded to the bottom. It's already melted. Mm. In terms of time, I honestly think it was really quick. I would waste at least five more minutes or maybe seven more minutes. But I didn't make a really simple version of it too. I would have done, you know, I would have done the eggs and the the and the fucking meat at the same time. I would have cooked them. So you can you can you can debate that as much as you want. You know, I could have I could have microwaved the meat at the same time, but I'm more stingy when it comes to me. I, I think I think meat is preferred to be like air fried or or skeleted, you know. So I would say that. Overall. I'll give it a good. I'll give it a solid. It could definitely be a way people cook eggs every day. It does taste really nice. It doesn't leave too much mess. It left one plate. I'm just using the second plate because I'm I'm extra. But I could have used the same plate. It just had it been a little dirty. Mm. <laughs> Raw is pretty solid. It is really solid, actually. Like, yeah. It's way higher than I expected it to be. I really expected it to be like, like, like not as good as as skilling, but it's honestly, it's pretty much aside from that top skin part that I ate. It, the inside is really, it's really soft. I'm actually pretty surprised at them. As a as a like alternative to like let's say I'm trying to be lazy or um I actually do have actually am pretty time crunch I will I will try this now this is definitely like a go to now for that um I will say though I do prefer my eggs just a little more fluffier and I feel like I can really achieve that with a low heat on a skillet I would definitely say that because you know like when you go to skillet you just like pass it back and forth nice and softly into like little clumps form. But this actually is really good at making it pretty soft while being all one piece. Because when I do scramble them, they do come out as like little little bits that are just close to each other. And all fluffy. But I will say this is actually this is pretty much achieved that while making a big piece. But just a little less fluffy than I, than I would actually like. But it's actually still fluffy though. It doesn't even sound a little nasty, but it's all right for me. Um, when like the sesame seeds fall from the bagel, I like to um, like to like collect them all in the plate, and I like to just like 
try to get them on and make them on top. They're like, look, there's like sesame seeds on it. There's a little sesame seed bite.